What's up everybody? This is Music Chu and today I'm gonna show you guys how to use um uh, I don't wanna introduce you guys to the back background constraint and it's uh, very helpful and uh, I'm gonna show you um give you some tips on how it works and how your uh won't work. Okay, so I created um a ring, okay. The ring is the just this ring. Um, weird spiky is this one. Ball is this one. Okay. Then I have a, a cylinder. A cylinder right here. Okay. So uh, to make it work, make make the background constraint work, is you have to um, create a different uh, meshes. Okay. You. I don't think you can use it. Uh, within the one um, mesh okay so make sure you have uh, you know, different meshes so you have a foreground and a background so if I wanna uh, use use the background constraint to the ball so I have to the ball should should be uh, above the cylinder okay so I'm gonna use the Constraint background constraint onto this one, and this will be the cylinder will be the background. So if you just do the uh, regular regular uh, move, uh, nothing will have happen. But if you turn on, okay, snapping and uh, snapping background, okay. So make sure geometry, this one is uh, constraint is to a vector. Okay, I don't, I haven't tried other ones yet. So just follow the steps. Uh, choose vector. Then if I move it, you might not be able to see it. But if I turn off, turn the inactive this off, um, you will see it. See the effect. It's kind of you just smash the ball onto the um, the cylinder. See that? That's the but you can still change it. That's the magic uh, background strain constraint. Okay, so you can still move it and 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 uh, and uh, you know still have a diff have the effect. Okay, move it. It's kind of weird, but that just this is just the one uh, way of doing it. Okay, so make sure ball is above the cylinder. So if you don't believe me, let's say let's switch it up. Okay, let's switch. Let's uh, make the cylinder above the ball. Okay, now we sh have the ball. Then I have snapping everything done. Okay. Oh, well. it still works. Maybe in this new version it works. Okay. So this the uh, maybe in the new version it works. Maybe in the old, older version, previous version six oh one five one it won't work. So my bad. And let's use the spring for example. So we wanna. Um, wrap around the this ugly um, spiky thing okay so still turn on the background constraint hit W maybe and move it see that it's uh, constraining to the this thing okay we can you can scale it okay and you will still wrap around that. Okay, so when you finish, let's turn off this one. See, this is the, the just uh, conform to the surface of that uh, spiky object. Okay, so um, give it a try. So make sure you follow the steps. Just turn on the uh, vector and snapping, turn on to. Um, background then uh, you can have the background constraint effect ok 
okay but make sure i think you have to put it in the into the a different layer with different meshes so if i move this one uh cut the cylinder and put in the ball layer okay they in the same layer but if i want to move it so they're the same layer okay same mesh okay so if i want to move it and I have the background construct i don't know if i don't know if it if it will work see maybe it works but i don't it's kind of weird it's okay we're not sure it maybe it works so let's drop the tool and move it back. Uh, turn on the snapping. You know, turn off the snapping. Snapping none. Okay. So maybe it won't work. Okay. If you put them in the same. Um, same layer okay so make sure you, you put them uh, in a different layer different mesh different meshes and then you can have the effect 